Andes. Uh, Merrick? Hey, this is Carlos. Hi, Scott. I'm Ben. All right. Uh, good best luck of... and good quizzing. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Best of luck to all of you. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Uh, Eric, you're in seat one, so you get the first question of the match, which is this. Eric, what regional burger chain with locations primarily in California and the Southwest is known for its double-double burger and its secret menu with phrases like animal style? Um, in and out in and out Burger is correct. Next one for you. What perennial powerhouse school was represented by the softball player Lisa Fernandez with a, a 0.25 pitching ERA and a batting average of 510 when she beat out Mia Hamm and Cheryl Swoops for the NCAA's Honda Broderick Cup for Best Woman Athlete in 1993? Rachel Garcia and Natasha Watley have also won that award for the school's softball team. Stanford. Not what I have here. Goes to Carlos. Pass. Passes to Scott. UCLA. UCLA is correct. And uh, Eric, you're third. The first bands calling themselves Salsa Acts originated in the 1960s and 1970s in the large Cuban and Puerto Rican community in what non-Caribbean and non-tropical city? Fania Records, founded by Johnny Pacheco and Jerry Masucci, originated in the city as well. Uh, New York City? New York City? Get it, right. I get it. Right. <laughs> All right, over to Carlos. Here's your first of the match. Uh, every major release of Mario Kart has included what character who originally appeared as Mario's rideable mount in Super Mario World? Yoshi. Yoshi is correct. Next one for you. Given its relative standing as a film, the cast of Con Air was impressive. What actor appeared in a mask as serial killer Garland Green between Coen Brothers' appearances as Carl in Fargo and Donnie in The Big Lebowski? Buscemi? Steve Buscemi is correct. And third for you? Knowing Oprah definitely helps you get your foot in the door. That said, what longtime best friend and associate of Oprah Winfrey drew plaudits for her pointed and stoic interview with R. Kelly and has hosted CBS This Morning and CBS Morning since 2012. King. Three for three. Gail King is correct. Over to Scott. Here's your first of the match. What song was originally released by Prince on his self-titled 1979 album, but is far better known for a version released five years later by Shaka Khan? The original version, unlike the cover, does not repeat Shaka Khan's name dozens of times. I feel for you. Is correct. Uh, next one for you. Okay. What titular, I'm um, sorry, what large titular group from a well known film includes Lucky, Rolly, Penny, Freckles, and their parents, among others? Are they the, they're some of the 101 Dalmatians, right? 101 Dalmatians is oh, correct. Sorry. Would have also accepted 102 Dalmatians. Um, and then Scott. In what urban park, also home to a famous observatory, would you find the Los Angeles Zoo? Griffith. Three for three for you. Griffith Park is correct. Now to Ben. Uh, your first. What venerable Japanese company's name is formed from two word roots, meaning three and rhombus? Mitsubishi is correct. Next one for you. What early number in Phantom of the Opera sees Christine describing a guide and guardian who appeared in her dreams, but turns out to be, you know, the Phantom. Oh, gosh. Mm. Uh... 
all I ask of you? Not what I have here. Goes to Eric. Pass. Passes to Carlos. Angel of Music. Angel of Music. Very nice. Yeah. That guide and guardian. Yes. And then Ben, last question of the opening round. The Field of Legends exhibit at Kansas City's Negro League's Mu Baseball Museum includes bronze statues of iconic players at their fielding positions. But due to a monstrous number of infield options, what legendary shortstop is playing second base? Uh, he hit 349 for his career and played for many of the Chicago teams during the 1910s and 20s, but his best-known nickname was given to him because of his fatherly demeanor as manager. Smith. Not what I have here. Goes to Eric. Bell. Not what I have here. Goes to Carlos. Pass. Passes to Scott. Is this Pop Lloyd? It is. Uh, John Henry Pop Lloyd. And uh, that is how round one went. Um, not going to recap scores since y'all can see them. Uh, is this pace okay for everyone? Do I need to slow no. down? Or are we no, good? I'm good. Bye right for me. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go to round two. Back to Eric. And here's the first of the round. Science fiction author Philip K. Dick is undoubtedly influential, but he may be better known for his titles. What occupation, which is gendered in its language, fills in the blank of his 1970 novel, Flow My Tears, The Blank Said, which is about a pop singer and actor who wakes up in a world where he has never existed and is constantly on the lam from the law. Policeman? Uh, Flow My Tears, The Policeman Said. That is correct. Next one for you. Every major release of Mario Kart has included what character who used her pink dress for hover powers in Super Mario Brothers 2? Peach. Princess Peach is also correct. And then your third. What titular group from a well-known film includes members who eventually identify themselves as Davis and Mikado, though they're mostly known by numbers throughout the film? Ten seconds, please. Sure. Uh, the Ocean's Eleven. Not what I have here. Goes to Ben. Twelve Angry Men. Twelve Angry Men is correct. Oh, nice. All right. Over to Carlos. Here's your first of round two. Carlos, the most influential Black member of Britain's punk scene in the late 1970s was polystyrene the lead singer for which group named for an accessory. Among their best-known tracks are Germ-Free Adolescence and Oh Bondage, Up Yours. Uh, bow ties. Not what I have here. Goes to Ben. X-Ray Specs. X-ray spec ah. is correct. Uh, next one for Carlos. What burger chain, which opened its first locations in the Washington, D.C. metro area, is distinctive for its red and white checkered branding. The chain is also well known for its Cajun style fries and often gives out in the shell peanuts. Five guys. Five guys is correct. And third for you. Though there's also a famous zoo in the suburb of Brookfield, in what Chicago park along Lake Michigan will you find the fourth oldest zoo in America? Lincoln Park? In the end, it doesn't even matter. That is correct. All right, over to Scott. Formerly a baseball blogger under the name Ken Tremendous, who, cla who claimed to work at Fremulon Insurance, who appeared in a few episodes of The Office as Dwight, Sh Dwight Schrute's cousin, Moe's. Oh, um, yeah, it's the, um, is this, is this Michael Sure? Raise your hand if you're sure. Uh, that is correct. Oops, here we go. Next one for Scott. What now familiar Japanese company that began as a cork making factory began creating auto rickshaws that were, according to the corporate 
official official corporate history named for the second half of the name of the Zoroastrian creator deity. Mazda. Mazda is correct. Third for you. The first volleyball player to win the Honda Broderick Cup was what Long Beach State player who led her team to an undefeated season in 1998. She became much more famous as the shorter half of a pairing that won three straight Olympic golds in beach volleyball. Which one of them shorter? Misty May Trainer Is correct. Three for three. All right. Now to Ben to close out the round. You're first of three. The Latin music styles merengue and bachata both originated in what specific Caribbean country? Merengue was particularly promoted by the regime of Rafael Trujillo, while bachata was considered a lower class form. Dominican Republic. Is correct. Next one for you. Who portrayed Cyrus the Virus Grissom, the main villain of Con Air? His next role would be as Athos in Man in the Iron Mask and Teddy KGB in Rounders after which he became much more of a household name for one particular reason. It's my head. Uh, John Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich <laughs> is correct. <laughs> and then the last question. Hey, that line. man, his money. <laughs> uh, last win of the rounds. What financial advisor who constantly told callers not to buy things they cannot afford on her namesake CNBC show from 2002 to 15 reached her first broad audiences on Oprah in the late 1990s? Orman? Three for three. Is it Susie, Susie or Suze? I don't uh, know how it's pronounced, actually. I, I've heard it's, Susie, it's I think. Susie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Susie. Okay. Well, either way, um, that's the end of round two. Uh, moving to round three. And uh, Eric, you're up first again. And here's the first question. What familiar brand is the Japanese word for star cluster M45, uh, the Seven Sisters or Pleiades in the West? Ten seconds, please. Oh God. Um. Answer, please. I don't know. Uh, uh Nissan. Not what I've here. Goes to Carlos. Subaru. Subaru is correct. Uh, next one for Eric. D. H. Pellegro, who passed away last October, was the longtime drummer for which punk group, replacing their original drummer Ted. One of the group's most famous songs was directed at people who didn't support them having a black drummer. Dead Kennedys. Dead Kennedys is correct. And that, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, which that's a punk. Song. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wrote one called Hell Nation too, which was kind of about I think it was about growing up black in St. Louis. But yeah. Hmm. Right, and then Eric, your third. Prince went by the Star Company when he produced the album Ice Cream Castles for a Morris Day in the Time. What single from that album appeared on the soundtrack of Purple Rain as and as a live performance in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back? Jungle Love. Jungle Love is correct. All right, over to Carlos. What song that closes Act One of Phantom of the Opera sees Raul pleading with Christine to let me lead you from your solitude? All I ask of you. Now is the time for all of you <laughs> here. Yeah. Uh, next one for Carlos. Another classic work by Philip K. Dick is 1964's The Three Blank of Palmer Eldritch, in which a merchant introduces a new hallucinogen to the market, much to the chagrin of the corporate bigwigs with the only worthwhile drug available. What phenomenon fills in the blank of this title, one of Dick's earliest work to deal with religion? Miracles? Not what I have here. Goes to Eric. Pass. Passes to Scott. Stigmata. The three stigmata oh. of Palmer Eldridge yeah. is correct. And then Carlos. Though it originated in Panama in the late 1980s, what now mainstream Latin music genre with a dembo beat is named for an originally Jamaican style and has many prominent Puerto Rican artists such as Daddy Yankee. Dancehall? 
Can you repeat that. Dance hall. Not what I've here. It goes to Eric. Reggaeton. Reggaeton is correct. And now over to Scott. Here's your first. What burger chain, which opened its first locations in New York City in 2004, is known for its burger and crinkle cut fries. The menu also includes frozen custards and their namesake concoction. Shake Shack. It is Shake Shack. Correct. Next one for you. What bald buff actor had made his first appearance as Luther Stickle in 1996's Mission Impossible when he played inmate Diamond Dog Jones in Con Air? He's recently filmed his seventh and eighth films in the Mission Impossible franchise. Bing Rames. Bing Rames is also correct. And then Scott, in the Field of Legends exhibit at the Negro Leagues Museum, who's playing first base? He batted fourth behind Josh Gibson on the Homestead Grays during the 1930s and 40s, with the duo being come, becoming known as the Dynamite Twins. Buck Leonard? Walter Fenner Buck Leonard is correct. All right, and now to Ben. Closing out the round, here's your first of three. According to a cringy poem recited during the film, what titular list includes your big dumb combat boots and the way you read my mind? Ten Things I Hate About You. Ten Things I Hate About You is correct. Uh, next for Ben. Usually stoic and humorless, what recurring actor in the Michael Schur oeuvre portrayed Captain Holt's husband Kevin on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, attorney Trevor Nelson on Parks and Recreation, and most prominently the demon Sean on The Good Place? Um, 10 seconds, please. Adam Scott. Not what I've here goes to Eric. I don't have it. Pass. Carlos. Pass. And Scott. First X. Pass. <laughs> um, no relation to Janet or Michael. It's Mark Evan Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> Uh, he, also hosts great. The, he also hosts the Good Place uh, podcast, uh, from what I remember. Yeah. Um, all right. I watched my gun now. All right. And then the last question of round three, Ben. Mm -hmm. Swimming has become popular among Honda Broderick winners in recent years. What school did Katie Ledecky and Simone Manuel represent when they won in 2017 and 18? This school regularly wins the All Sports Directors Cup. This is not my packet. Um... <laughs> 10 seconds, please. Um, is this Stanford? Uh, the aforementioned Stanford yeah. is now uh... correct. All right. And uh, that concludes round three. Um, anyone need to take a break? Or are we good to keep going? I'm just good. <laughs> Okay, uh, Eric, starting off round four, penultimate round with this question. What opening number from act two of Phantom of the Opera takes place at a certain type of party where you can fool any friend who ever knew you? Masquerade. Masquerade party. Oh, party. thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You seem more confident. Well, oh my God. The Remember, Eric, the frauds count just as much as the real knowledge. Right? That's right. I <laughs> firmly believe you can have shame and points. Well, sometimes, yeah, yeah exactly. There's sometimes points and shame. <laughs> That's right. All right. Next one for you, Eric. Oh, man. 
what former cooking show host credits Oprah with expanding her reach outside cooking shows and help create her charity, Yum O? I don't think I can fraud this one, but let's see. Ten seconds, please. Uh, Garten. Not what I have here. Goes to Carlos. Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray is correct. Uh, and then third for you, Eric. So he may be best known for a recurring role as Adrian Pimento on Brooklyn Nine Nine. What actor played fragrance maker Dante Fierro or Dennis Feinstein in Parks and Recreation? And Janet's created rebound boyfriend Derek in The Good Place. I'm gonna Derek this one up. Uh, Manzukis. Jason Manzukis is correct. All right, now to Carlos. Here's your first of the round. 12 athletes from California schools have won the Honda Broderick Cup. But what state comes second with six? All winning athletes from this state, including Jennifer Rizzotti and Brianna Stewart, have played the same sport at the same college. Connecticut? Because they all played basketball at UConn. Yeah. <laughs> Sense. Uh, next one for Carlos. Prince went by Alexander Nevermind when he wrote a song for Sheena Easton that landed on Tipper Gore's Filthy 15 because the title is... Well, definitely a reference to body parts. What does Tina um, ask the addressee to come spend the night inside? If I'm wrong, I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to say sugar walls. No, right. Sugar walls. <laughs> I thought it was, but I was like, eh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And then Carlos. <laughs> In the Field of Legends exhibit at the Negro Leagues Museum, who's playing center field? Frequently ranked as the greatest Negro Leagues player other than Satchel Paige, he was a three-time Triple Crown winner and was player manager of the legendary lineup of the Pittsburgh Crawfords in the 1930s. Johnson. Not what I have here. Goes to Ben. Pass. Passes to Eric. Pass. Passes to Scott. Oscar Charleston. Oscar Charleston is mm -hmm. correct. They even took away my guess of Satchel Page. <laughs> <laughs> How dare they? Uh, Josh Gibson, but he came up. Yeah. So, Charleston was a better all around player. Um, also, uh, Gibson was basically a catcher. Charleston was, Charleston could do everything. Gotcha. All right. Stay with Scott for direct questions, starting with this. Every major release of the Mario Kart series has included what attendant of Princess Peach, who was first playable in Super Mario Brothers 2? where he had blue spots on his head and the vest he almost always wears now. It's just Toad? Toad is correct, yeah. Good. My, my son would have killed me if I missed it. <laughs> Next one for Scott. A German-Czech fusion element in Tejano music is represented by what instrument used in folk dances from those countries and now played by such luminaries as Flaco Jimenez? Oh, um... Wow. Um, is is he a guitarist? Not what I hear. Goes to Ben. I'm going to pass. Passes to Eric. Answer or pass, please. Pass. To Carlos. Accordion? Yes. Accordion oh, virtuoso, Flaco Jimenez. Neat. Yeah. All right. And now... Scott, your last question in the round. Another unwieldy Philip K. Dick title was published after his death. The man whose blank were all exactly alike. What feature of the human body fills in the blank of the title of this story that revolves around a real estate agent who finds an unusual skull on some property, which leads to some dire consequences? This, this is a really good book. It's called The Man Whose Teeth Were All Exactly Alike. Exactly. <laughs> Teeth is correct. All right. Over to Ben. Uh, here's your first of round four. What city's well-known zoo is found in Balboa Park? It's 
San Diego. That big old San Diego Zoo is in Balboa Park, correct. Hmm. Uh, penultimate question of the penultimate round. What regional burger chain with locations primarily in Texas and the Southwest is distinctive for its A-frame orange and white striped buildings? They're also known for their honey butter chicken biscuit and sweet and spicy bacon burger. Whataburger. Whataburger. Is Waterburger, as I think I've heard some people pronounce it. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, and then the last question of the round, Ben. Which monumental band of the hardcore punk scene wrote a noted song about how they were barred from performing in Washington, D.C. because of their destructive fans? Around this time, uh, around this same time, they became very invested in the Rastafari movement. Bad Brains? Bad Brains is correct. Yeah. One of my favorite bands ever. <laughs> All right. And that takes us to the final round. Uh, last chance for a break if anyone needs it. Let's do it. All right. Take a sip of water. Okay. Good luck. Have fun, everyone. Eric, one last time, starting us off. Here's your first to the final. What extremely grizzled looking Mexican American actor portrayed Johnny 23 Baca in Con Air? It was one of nine films in which he appeared in 1997, none of which were in the Desperado franchise. Extremely grizzled, huh? So, Trejo? Danny Trejo is correct. He's very grizzled. <laughs> Uh, next one for you, Eric. The last passenger prison, Martha, and more memely, the lowland gorilla Harambe, were both found at what city's zoo a few miles north of the Ohio River? Uh, Cincinnati. The Cincinnati Zoo is correct. And then your last direct. In the field of legends at the Negro Leagues Museum, who is batting? an Afro-Cuban player who played all nine positions at his height in the 1920s and 30s. He's the only player inducted into the American, Cuban, and Mexican Baseball Halls of Fame. Ten seconds, please. I'll just say Bell again. Not what I have here. Goes to Ben. Pass. To Carlos. Pass. And Scott. I'm thinking of someone, but I don't think it's him. Pass. Uh, that is Martin D. De Higo. Yeah, good. I was thinking Cristobal Torriente was the person I was thinking of. So I'm glad I didn't go with that. All right. And now we turn to Carlos. Your last direct. Start with this. Having come a long way since crossing Jordan, what actress with an upcoming series on Disney Plus played political strategist Jennifer Barclay on Parks and Recreation and made one appearance in Brooklyn Nine-Nine as a blackmailing ex-wife? Ten seconds, please. Um, pass. Pass to Ben. Pass God. to Eric. I did, did no <laughs> pass. What's her name? Scott. Yeah. Is this Han? It is. Yep. It is. Catherine Han. God. Um, oh, the Agatha. That's not show. who I was thinking. It was. Yeah. It was Agatha. I, I all had her along. face. Yep. I could picture her. Wow. Name just dropped out yeah. my head. Oh my god! Okay. All right, uh, Carlos. Uh, here's the next one for you. Lots of names: uh, Angus and Laura, Bernard and Lydia, Carrie and Hamish, Gareth, and finally Charles and Henrietta make up the what film's titular events? Four weddings and a funeral. That is correct. All right, and then more names for you. Last question, direct. 
What Japanese automaker changed its name from an acronym derived from its founder's surnames, Genjiro, uh, Kenjiro Den, Rokuro Aoyama, and Mitaro Takeuchi to a name derived from its Nikkei stock symbol? Ten seconds, please. Uh, Honda. Not what I have here. Goes to Ben. Now is the time for Nissan. Yes, or Datsun. Datsun. Dots. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Now to Scott's directs. Here's the first of them. What late song from Phantom of the Opera sees Christine and the Phantom as Aminta and Don Juan cross the final threshold where there is no going back now. Point of no return. Is correct. Next one for Scott. Host of By Design with his husband, Jeremiah Brent. What designer and syndicated talk show host was for many years most famous as Oprah Winfrey's design expert and guest on design themed segments? Not the first name. I got the uh, what. <sighs> Nate Burkus. Nate Burkus is <laughs> correct. And then Scott's last direct. Active during the early and mid 90s was a punk rock fiasco led by whom? <laughs> this group released one album titled Spooky. He was Guitar a very good friend of mine. Wesley Willis is his name. <laughs> Wesley Willis is correct. Head, headbutting his way to yes, I I knew Wesley I knew Wesley well. The, I we went to a mm -hmm. bunch of it, met him at a bunch of his shows in the nineties. Wow! All right, uh, now to Ben, um, closing out the match. All Here's right, first of three for you. In 1968, Philip K. Dick wrote a 117 word short story titled "The Story to End All Stories" for Blank Blank's anthology Dangerous Visions. What science fiction author's name fills in these blanks? This writer and editor is remembered for his prominent work both in literature and for television. I'm like 100% overthinking this. Uh... <laughs> 10 seconds, please. Isaac Asimov. Not what I have here. Eric? Uh, oof. Robert Heinlein. Not what I have here. Carlos? Okay. Harlan Ellison. Harlan Ellison. That's oh. what I was debating between. I mean, yep. <laughs> knocked out the other two guesses I had, so. <laughs> Good teamwork, y'all. Good teamwork, y'all. The rest of the quad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ben. Said no to him again and again, but he took my heart and ran. Because it was so inspired by Little Red Corvette, Stevie Nicks had Prince play anonymous keyboards and gave him half the publishing rights on what single from The Wild Heart. The dimly lit image of Nicks singing straight to the camera in this video with very 80s hair is iconic. I have no idea. Um, I thought I liked Stevie next. Um, 10 seconds, please. Uh, leather and Lace. Not what I fear. Eric? Try Stop Dragging My Heart Around. Not what I fear. Goes to Carlos. Ah. Pass. Passes to Scott. I'll try Edge of 17. Not yeah. what I have here either. Uh, it's song Stand Back. Stand back. Yeah. yeah. I think she had so many hits at the time that if you didn't and actually see the video, you're just basically reaching into a bag and trying yeah. to pull out the next song. There. <laughs> All right. And now, Ben, final question of the sets for you. And here we go. Every major release of the Mario Kart series has included what iconic early arcade game character from Mario's, or should we say Jumpman's, first ever appearance? <sighs> The lone exception is the first Super Mario Kart game where he was replaced by his junior version for some reason. 
Roses are red, violets are blue. He's the first <laughs> member of the DK crew, uh, Donkey Kong. Uh, <laughs> Donkey Kong <laughs> is correct. Uh, All right. Uh, congratulations to this Scott. This whole time I've had a little Mario Kart oh. figure like sitting right in front of me. Well, uh, if I, I wish I had bet on myself before this all started with this, because there is no way yeah. in hell I ever thought I was going to do that. <laughs> Congrats! You got that Great punk game. quad right at the end. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the yeah, the the punk, the uh, the Negro League quad yep. helped. Yeah. The Philip K. I'm a big Philip K. Dick fan, so I knew all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that that set your hit me for hard. Sure. That set hit me hard, definitely. Well done. Thank you. All right. Uh, 